Long time in favour of the Madonna Cabaret. It's always a pleasure. You put your hands together. Welcome onto the stage, Tim Clark. I suddenly realised, I really said this the other day, I've become the target for daytime TV advertising. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean the rubbish ones like sofa ads. The DFS sale is still on. Of course, the DFS sale is still on. <laughs> the DFS sale has been on since the reign of William the Conqueror. <laughs> When they found Richard III under that car park in Leicester, he was on a DFS sofa bed. <laughs> I'm the ones, I mean, you're all young here, I'm the ones for a, a, a pensions and retirement, funerals. I saw one for funerals the other day. Dad loved fishing, so we got the cortege to go past the local canal, and all the anglers lowered their rods in respect. <laughs> what are they going to say for me? Dad loved internet pornography. <laughs> <laughs> so we got all the men in the congregation to lower their rods in respect. <laughs> what can you do? I went to a department store, the cosmetic section, I said, what can I do about these wrinkles? He said, fuck no, it's time travel. <laughs> Surgery, prayer, this is John Lewis, not Hogwarts. <laughs> Did you argue? You together? Did you argue? No. Sit there, what? Yeah, that was great. She said no, and he went yes. <laughs> You should, don't be ashamed, you should, you should argue. You can't keep these things suppressed. The only arguments I don't like, you know when you have an argument and you go out to meet some people but the argument hasn't been resolved? <laughs> and you've got to pretend you're not arguing. <laughs> and you're in the car like this, fuck off, just fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and women, you're the best at this. Because <laughs> women are like, fuck off, just fuck off. Hello, Jenny, hello, Steve. <laughs> We had this fabulous night last night. There was this mad way to have this lovely bottle of wine. Us fellas are over here thinking, brilliant, the argument's over. <laughs> I'll join in. Yeah, then we couldn't get a cab home because you were pissed, lovely yeah. talk. <laughs> you'll get old, you'll get old, you too. I've, I've got to that point in my life now where every conversation is like a quiz. We went to that pub, what's it called? <laughs> With that bloke, what's his name? <laughs> Remembering faces is like a pitch, pitcher quiz round. I know her, I know her, I saw her last Christmas. She's your mother! <laughs> and if you do this, kill yourself. I was at home the other week, I'm on my own, the house is silent, I'm reading the paper, no one knew. And I suddenly said out loud, I think I'll have a cup of tea. <laughs> Civility. It's like those old couples you see on trains, not actually having conversations, just commenting on everything in one word, everything they see out the window. No tree. <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> Motorbike. I went in the kitchen, I said, take another biscuit. You see, in old people this is called dementia, in young people it's called Twitter. <laughs> so I saw this thing in... Uh, my daughter showed me it. Some politician had written, maybe it's Twitter or Facebook, one of them. He'd written, um, I am the Conservative MP for Basingstoke, and my favourite artist is Tiny Temper. No, he's not. <laughs> I live with teenagers. I'm familiar with Tiny Temper's oeuvre. He's an urban grime artist. If he thought his core audience was like a middle-aged golf-playing Tory, he'd kill himself. <laughs> he can do gigs in golf clubs, get the clubs out. Get the cheese balls, putters, and score cards out. <laughs> I went to Wentworth, but I've not been to the Belfry. <laughs> a Celtic man who used my sandwich for a birdie. <laughs> Get the clubs out. And who are these people? Tiny Temper, Chichi Strider, Puff Diddy. Are they dwarves? <laughs> Is Snow White involved? <laughs> See, I've got this theory. Uh, about getting uh, going on in years. I think life is like a kind of two-week holiday. And I reckon I'm on about Thursday of the second week. <laughs> I've spent all my money and I've done fuck all. <laughs> you on the other hand, you've just arrived, don't you? Look at you. You've got your cosy on, you're up on the belt. You're looking out, thinking all the stuff you're going to do, adventures you're going to have, blowjobs you're going to get, blowjobs you're going to give. <laughs> Not me, it's all over. I started doing this in the 80s. In the 80s, you could go into someone's house, say, mind if I smoke, and they'd go and get your ashtray. Now that I'd be like saying, do you mind if I shit on your television? <laughs> 
I'm not a regular television shitter, I just do it to be social. <laughs> Things have advanced in some ways, but stayed the same in others. Like, we now have GPS technology, which allows us to latch onto a satellite in space and show us exactly where we're going in our car, but we still have to stick it onto the windscreen with gob. <laughs> Got married for the first time in the 80s. We should understand that to get me out of that one. <laughs> After sex, take the exit. Do you know, looking back, it's funny, time gives you a perspective on these things. I said, looking back, I think it was my fault, really. I, to be honest, I'm not that great at sex. I mean, I'm not like the build up. You know, the, 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 that, but it's when, it's when the deed is done, in that bit between when it's finished and you put your pyjamas on. <laughs> you know, that, that awkward bit. I, I never quite know what to say, although I wouldn't recommend ka ching. <laughs> <laughs> or getting out a pen knife and carving a notch in the headboard. You know. It's awkward, isn't it? I mean, you, seconds before you've been cracking on like a pair of porn stars and then suddenly you're you again. It's like, yes, yes, yes! I think I'll fix that shed roof in the morning. <laughs> got fit. I got very fit. The New York Marathon, Sprint Triathlon, London to Brighton, Bike Ride. I watched all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and decided instead to go for a gentle jog around the park, and I still do. Flap and common, pedestrian pace, unless of course I see a nice looking woman, then I do my Mo Farrer impression, <laughs> which is pathetic, and that black makeup costs a fortune. <laughs> I think coffee's my only addiction now. Coffee, love that. You can have so much coffee now. Cappuccino, frappuccino, espresso, latte, doppio. I'm a, I'm a spokesman for an Italian now. You're not supposed to say B, you're supposed to say grande. I feel such a dickhead. Grande or pano chocolat. I think it's a calf in Milan, in Italy, where people go and you go, but John, no. I shall have a meat pie. <laughs> and a big, a big, a big fuck up tea. There you go. Italians would probably sing it, wouldn't they? I would please like to buy a steak and kidney pie and a tango. <laughs> and the coffee's so fair trade. Our coffee was picked in Rwanda by lepers. <laughs> Lesbian lepers. With learning difficulties. <laughs> Same in the supermarket. You, try, you, you can't just you, you can't just buy you, you can't just buy an egg now. You can't, you know, just, can, can I have an egg? Yes, no, two types of eggs. There's the free range eggs and the altogether more sinister barn eggs. <laughs> I always think barn egg chickens are kept in the hen equivalent of Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> little orange suits. <laughs> the little, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> the little legs tied together with string. <laughs> Free range chickens are in five star hotels, quaffing champagne. <laughs> Downloading apps for their iPhone. Watching the X Factor of Simon Cowell, is he a chicken? Yeah, it's a complete fail. <laughs> Gotta get into the modern world. Shop online now, do all the shopping. Oh, I must tell you this. I was online the other week at home and the, the broadband went down, so I, uh, I phoned up and I hung on for ages and ages and I got that recorded message you all have heard, that one that says, this call may be being recorded for training purposes. Training purposes. I was like to let them speak for about 30 seconds and then say, did you just call me a twat? <laughs> just to make the training session more interesting on Monday. I can shop, I can shop. Lots of men say they can't shop, I can shop. I, I can argue with my wife, and I know this is a bit of a cliche, but I can, and it isn't, and I do understand this. It's not the, it's not the shopping, it's the endless browsing. What are you doing? I'm browsing. We've been here four hours. I know, I'm browsing, I've got to see everything. This is TK Maxx, not the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. <laughs> TK Maxx, by the way, great if you're a giant, a dwarf, or you don't give a fuck what you look like. <laughs> I'll always go into TK Maxx, see a, a shirt, and say, oh, nice blue shirt, I'll have that. Pick it up, yeah, I'll have that. Turn it around, there's a dragon on the back. <laughs> You've been wonderful, Bella. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.